Hi everybody, Robert here again, and we're going to do some more rhythm tutorials. And in this exercise, we're going to look at how to do wall and wall quantities. So I'm going to start here with the architectural template. I want to just open this template up. And we want to just basically place a few walls here. So let me go into the architecture tab and look at walls. So we'll go select wall. And then we'll just it's right here. And we'll make this well, something simple. Let's make it 30 by 30. Okay. Oops, sorry. This is just going to be a simple model just to show you how this is done. So we'll have our walls placed, and what we'll do from this point on, we'll, we'll just go into our annotate tab and let's go in tag all. And then we'll select wall tags. We'll click apply and OK. So once we have our tags in place and set everything here, we can go in there. Let's go and just move these out. Let's, and first of all, let's make these dimensions here. Let's place some dimensions in here. And we want to go to wall. Uh, wall faces. So we go from this point to here. That's 30 feet 8. From here, it's 30 feet 8. But we want to make this 30 feet. Let's make it. Let's just select this wall and select this one and say 30. Using our, let's select the wall and let's make this 30 as well. Okay, now since we have our dimensions in place, we don't need this one. We can delete this guy here. Now we have our um, wall tags in place. As you can remember, we went to architecture, we went to tag all, and we selected wall tags. Now what I want to do here, I want to just bring these out slightly. Just slightly off the wall. It's up to you. You can leave it on the wall if you like. So let's drag this out here. And bring this one out. You can also as well just for basic practice, let's place some grid lines in here just for the heck of it. I'm going to do a grid line. Let's do one here. And we'll do a grid line here. And we can place a grid line here as well. Mm -hmm. And we can place a grid line here. Oh, I want to fix this. And you know, we can change this with a modifier. Let's just double click here. Let's make this A. Let's make a capital A. And then we'll go and we'll place another grid line here. And that's your BB. So Riven knows that it will go, it will default to the next grid line. So now the first thing we want to do, we want to hit modify, get out of this command, double click on our tag. Now let's open our tag here. And what we're going to do, we're going to select this label and we want to edit it. Now, right now, this edit, this is it's a tight mark. We want to go over and we want to select a mark 
We want to add that, and we want to move this across. We don't need, we're not going to use the tag mark. We will say OK. And from that point, we'll load this event to our project. And we'll override existing version. And now I can say this. Oh, sorry, didn't want to do that. Let's shut that down. Uh, I'll say no here. So carefully select the tag. And here we can call this wall one. This can be our wall two. And this can be our wall three. And four. Now, what we didn't do, we didn't check our height to get our heights organized. So let's go and look at this in 3D. And there's our wall. So let's go into our north elevation. And this is 10 feet. Yeah, I think that's okay. So we can what we can do, we can go back into our plan view. We can tab and select all the walls, and then we can change this height where it says top and strength here. Let's go to level two. And let's go back to our north elevation, have a look. Okay, so now we got 10 foot walls, which is what we want. Or you can use any um, wall height you like. So back into our plan view. So we have our wall selected, our wall types, everything. And they're all 30 feet. So now, the next thing we want to do in this case there. Yep, so it's all good here. So this is a very basic layout of how we want to do the walls. So now, at this point, we want to go in and start our schedule, our schedule. Okay. So let's go. I go to our view, and then we want to go out to schedules, and we want to select schedule quantities. And we want to go down to category, we're going to select this filter to architecture, and we want to go down to a category all the way down to walls. So now here walls, we can do sweeps or walls, so we just want to do walls, so we'll say okay here. Yeah. Now, for our fields and walls, we want to go and we want to select our volume, you can take volume and width here. Add these. And we want to select, oh, no, we want to take this out. So let's see. Let's just pick up the fields we want to use for walls. So we want to select volume, width, and length. Somewhere here, I think. There's length. Wanna add that one? We want to add our mark. And we want to add volume. Oh, we have volume, okay. And let's go with type. Okay. And I think I think we got width. Let's see if we can find length here. I don't see length. So 
we can select the area as well. So now we have these fields set up and, and what we can do at this point, we can move these around. So I think we want to have our type up top. So let's move that up, move type up. And we'll have our mark. And then we'll have length next. Let's go, we'll take area, we'll take our width will be next. Well, it doesn't matter for those two. I think area and width, it shouldn't really matter that much. So let's go with type, mark, width, length. And we've got, uh, let's see, let's play our area here. And then our volume. Okay. And I think at this point we can say okay. Now let's go and have a look at that schedule. So there's our schedule. So at this point, let's go into our sorting and grouping. Let's sort these by mark. Let's say okay. And I think let's go back into our fields and let's, let's put the mark up front because I think it's up to you how you do this and we say okay. So there's our, our type, our width, our length, our area, and our volumes. And let's just shut this down. Okay, we all caught up with this. Give you a couple of minutes. So now, as you can see, we have our walls in place. We can go on our 3D view and have a look. And there are our walls. So let's just, for instance, let's go back into level one and let's just place an object here. Let's place a door here. So go to architecture, door, So let's go back into our schedule. I want to make sure that we have all this sorted out right. Okay. Just to show you, I want to show you something here that's really neat about Rivet, how smart this software is. So let's go back into our schedule, a wall schedule. So as you see the areas are still the same and the volumes, everything is the same. As you can see. So now let's go, for instance, and let's just place a door in wall number two. So let's say wall door, wall number two. Okay, now, once we have a door in wall number two, let's go back into our schedule. And in mark two, you see the area change. It's, it's subtracted out that door that we placed in. It calculated that automatically. So what Rivet uses is uh, it, it'll subtract out your areas. So Let's go in this one, this wall, say wall number, let's go look at this uh, wall four, and let's look at the, put a door here, and architecture, let's place a window here, and here, and we want to switch these out.
So let's go look at wall number two in our schedule. And in wall number two, you see the difference? So in wall four, well, this is wall four, it's significantly lower because we placed a wall and we placed two windows here. So let's go back into our 3D view. And there you have it. So basically, Rivet will calculate your openings and your uh, wall calculations for you based on just being smart and using the database within Rivet. So that's all for this video. Just wanted to show you how to do wall schedules. And here's our schedule again. And we can basically go in here and there's our, t our marks that we created with the family and there's our volumes and our volumes is just based on the area and the, and the width so it calculated that for us so uh, if you want to go into formatting and you want to go to area and the volume is, is square feet which is okay but if you go into field format you can change this right here to none or feet cube and say okay okay and what it will basically do is show it here in the volume area it'll show feet cube so that's all for this video I just want to show you a brief example of how you do wall schedules so now let's do another little thing here let's just select this wall right here and let's edit the profile so let's take this wall and bring this back and you say we want to cut this out let's just go a line here and bring this back across to here and let's clean this up and then I'll finish it and I'll go back to my wall schedule and that was wall three it cut out and see it dropped it down and it made it a lot smaller so folks anyway that's a brief explanation of how you do wall schedules um, in Revit uh, thanks for watching uh, I hope you got something out of this video any questions or any comments, please put it in the uh, comment section. Have a good one, and thanks again. Until next time, bye.